This is my wish list for the fall autumn 2024 season. I started it probably a while ago and I even already started looking for some of these items. I actually thrift a majority of my wardrobe. I would say like 80% is secondhand, like thrifted vintage. And then 10% I buy new and the other like the last 10% is stuff I make for myself. Keeping that in mind is like this is why I already started looking for these items so I won't even necessarily have these for this coming season because I just might not find something I love. If I can't thrift it though I will probably try to make it. So the first thing on my list is actually pants. I don't own that many pants. I used to be super into dresses. Like I wear dresses all the time. But now that I moved to the Netherlands and over the past couple years, I find myself shifting towards pants a lot more. And the problem is I only have like four, maybe five pairs of pants, which I think is not that much. And only two pair of denim, but I want something that's like acid wash or like a dip wash. I've seen some photos on Pinterest of these different jeans or even like faded differently. I don't know, that seems a bit more interesting. Like, and of course I want the fit for these jeans to be loose and baggy. I'm not really into like really form fitting clothes. I'm into the oversized silhouette a lot. And then another item under the pants category, if still in the pants category, is cargo or like athletic pants. I, I know they were trend like in the spring or the summer. Um, don't care that they were trendy and that that's over because I still like it and I want some. The only thing is I actually bought a pair of cargo pants on Vinted. They came and they're way too short and I have that problem so often with pants is that they're always short. Like I can never find them long enough and I want them to like puddle a little bit. So I think I'm gonna make those. I think I wanna make a pair of cargo pants or more something athletic with like drawstrings, elastic, something that you can kind of adjust the silhouette a bit more. Second thing on the list is a wool coat. Now I have two lengths in mind that I'm open to so I don't pigeonhole myself into one thing. I'm giving myself options so I'm not too devastated when I can't find things that I like. Either I want it cropped cropped and oversized or I want it maxi and tailored and maxi I mean like to the ground I want it to be by my ankles almost grazing the ground not mid calf not mid thigh to the ground I want it long I think it would be I don't know like so chic and I want it kind of tailored so I don't lose myself in the coat like I don't want the coat to wear me I want to wear the coat but if it's cropped then we can go oversized. I love cropped and oversized. For both items though, I do want it to be either a color or a pattern. I currently have a navy blue wool coat and a purple wool coat. The purple one's kind of fun, but I think maybe like a plaid or a green or a Bordeaux maybe. That could be nice. I don't know, let's see what's out there. But those are my two options. I just think sometimes the outfit is the coat, you know, and I need a statement coat. I'm lacking in the statement coat department and number three is knitwear now you think being canadian and like experiencing the extreme cold polar vortexes and like everything freezing over that i would be really good at this whole knitwear category and truth is i'm really not i don't know it's just i never buy knitwear but every time the season comes around i'm like where is all my knitwear why don't I have good options? I struggle with it so much and I don't know why. I'm so particular with the fit of knitwear that I feel like that stops me from buying a lot because it's always, I can always find something wrong. Like it's too long, it's too bubbly, it's itchy, or I don't know. It's, there's always something about it that I'm not so sure about. So this category I left kind of broad because I feel like I just need to take the leap and buy something when I really love it. I'm thinking even fun colors, even like a bright red or a stripe, something a little oversized. I want some options though. Like I like cardigans that button up or zip up, that's okay. And then some pullovers. The only thing is I want it to hit not at my waist, a bit longer than my waist. If it's, I don't even know how to explain. Like the sweater I'm wearing, the length is like perfect like this. If you have some really good knitwear brands, comment down below because I'm open to anything at this point. It's honestly like knitwear and pants are the two worst categories in my wardrobe. And you think, yeah, coming from a cold place, that's the two, the two categories you would really nail down. Um, I guess I just dress for my dream destination rather than the place I live.
Next item I think is maybe a little bit more winter rather than autumn, but like maybe late autumn, which would be a mohair beanie or bonnet. I found a really cute bonnet on Etsy. Can make your outfit look really cute and chic. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple. Just a mohair beanie. I'm not sure what color, but like a fun color or like a stripe. Something that adds to an outfit. I don't want black or navy blue. Like we want fun. We need to inject fun into these simple wool coats. I have notes beside me of my wish list, so I like don't forget things, but the next two items I just realized are both maxi items, and it's the same issue. Because I can never find things long enough, like the pants, that I think I'm gonna be making the next two items, like for sure. The first one is a maxi skirt. I've always wanted a maxi skirt, but I can never find them long enough, and I want like either a full pleated one, and I want it in denim or canvas, like a heavier material that just like screams autumn. Like I wanna wear it with boots or sneakers, dress up, dress it down. But yeah, either like a full pleated skirt or maybe even like a drop waist and rather A-line maybe. I'm not sure yet of the silhouette, but definitely a maxi skirt. The next thing is a maxi dress. Now for the dress, I have no photos of this because I just randomly came up with it in my head, uh, not from any particular website like Pinterest or Instagram. I just thought I want a maxi dress in like an A-line kind of silhouette, maybe in like a brocade. Okay, I was gonna say maybe in like a brocade and now that I'm saying that, I have such a good brocade fabric upstairs that I think could be really good for this. Yeah, that's something we definitely need to explore more. Okay, I think we're gonna be making a maxi brocade dress next because that one I have in my head. Like I know the shape, I know the silhouette and I'm pretty sure I have the best fabric for it. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, subscribe if you wanna see this because I think this is maybe the next project we're gonna start. Maxi brocade A-line dress. That's the item. And last but not least, and I feel so boring when I say this, um, <laughs> this is never something I shop for, is a pair of black sneakers. I am trying to get more into sneakers. My knees hurt now when I wear shitty shoes. <laughs> So I used to wear loafers all the time. Like I was in my loafer era for probably the past 10 years. Always my go-to shoes. I always had a pair of black loafers. But recently in the past, I would say year, I just, I just feel it in my knees when I wear really bad shoes for way too long. So I'm trying to get into the whole sneaker thing. Now I always see people wear sneakers with like dresses and outfits and think they're so cute. I really like it. Like I love the look of it. So, that's where I'm starting to focus my shoe love into is like the sneaker world. It's still very new to me. I'm not a sneakerhead by any means. But for black sneakers, I'm thinking still it still has to be interesting. Like the ones I was really loving was the Kalina Strata collab they did with Puma. Love. But I can't find my size in Europe for a reasonable price. And of course, I'm not gonna make sneakers. I don't know how to make sneakers. And I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna thrift them either. Just because it's sneakers, it's kind of particular. I want them to be like really good quality. And I know if they're like a classic, classic, my type of classic black sneaker, that I'm gonna wear them for a really long time. So I think I'm ready to just like invest in a good shoe because we are investing in healthy knees. But that's my wish list for the coming season. I'm hoping I can find a majority of these items, but I think there'll be pieces that I will have for like years to come. I don't like hopping on the whole trend cycle all the time. I pick the trends that I like that suit my style, but then I also just like keep wearing it when the trend is done because I don't care. Now, I did say I was gonna make a couple of these items, so if you're interested, subscribe. I am gonna be working on these items in the coming weeks. And also, if you have any suggestions for like cool black sneakers, cool denim, and knitwear. Those are the three things I need the, probably the most help on. Let me know down below. I could really use your help.